I apologize if these holiday palette reviews are getting a little old for you. Don't worry, this is going to be my last holiday palette review for a bit. I have so many other videos that I want to do for you guys that I'm going to put this holiday review extravaganza on a pause. Shawnee, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101 and welcome back to holiday review extravaganza on my channel. Today we are going to be doing a review on another holiday palette that I have gotten a lot of questions on more than I was expecting to get. This is the new Marc Jacobs 20 pan palette. It's the Free Spirit palette. This is what the outer box on the packaging looks like. Look how gorgeous that is. It's got like a holographic snowflake print. So, so beautiful. I picked this palette up at Sephora. It was $99, which is expensive but at the end of the day it is a Marc Jacobs product it is a luxury makeup product and when you compare the price of what you're getting in here to what you would get in the other permanent Marc Jacobs eyeshadow palettes this is actually a really good value. Now when you open the palette up, this is what you are getting on the inside. You are getting a really big mirror and then a little film over your shadows. And you are getting 20 really, really beautiful eyeshadow colors. Now the first thing I noticed about this eyeshadow palette when I got it in the mail is the size of it. It is a huge eyeshadow palette just compared to the size of my face. You can see it compared to my hand. It's really big. Just showing you a side-by-side -side comparison of the holiday palette next to one of the Marc Jacobs 7 pan eyeshadow palettes, you can see it is much, much bigger. It's almost maybe like three or four of the width, the height of this palette. And it's a little bit shorter lengthwise. Now in terms of the colors you are getting inside of the palette, I believe Marc Jacobs claims that most of these are new, never before seen eyeshadow colors. I believe two or three of them are included in other palettes, but I don't think he notes which colors were included in other palettes and what the other palettes were. Because Marc Jacobs doesn't name each individual shadow, it's kind of hard to determine that. Moving right into swatches, of this entire palette. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch them in rows across. So starting with the top row, the first color you're getting is a matte white, a matte medium brown, a matte creamy white, a matte yellow toned white, and then a matte very, very light pink. In terms of the second row, the first color you are getting is a metallic medium taupe, a metallic coppery brown, this one is my favorite color on the palette, a metallic olive green, a very metallic silver, and a metallic true yellow gold. The third row you are getting, the first shade is a matte medium gray, a metallic pewtery taupe, a metallic rose gold, a matte bluish gray slate color, this one is very unique, and a slightly metallic medium purple. And then in terms of the last row of colors, the first shade is a matte dark grape purple, a matte blackish brown base with a lot of gold glitter specks, a metallic -y dark grape purple, a matte black base with a lot of silver glitter specks, and then a matte cocoa brown. In terms of color selection that you are getting in this palette, I think it's quite unique. I haven't seen a palette that includes so many truly warm toned colors and truly cool toned colors all together. I definitely feel like the top row of five matte light colors was kind of unneeded. I definitely did not need all of these matte highlight colors in a palette. I'm also not crazy about the fact that there isn't a true, very, very dark matte color to use as a liner or something. The darkest matte color would be the dark cocoa brown, which isn't even 
the darkest brown. It's more like a medium dark brown. I absolutely love the variety of metallic shades in this palette. They are gorgeous. My favorite being this coppery brown, but this rose gold is amazing. This yellow tone gold is amazing. This metallic taupe here is gorgeous. This matte slate gray is so unique of a shade. I cannot even think of another shadow I have in my collection that looks like that. The quality of the shadows in here is very consistent from what I have tried from Marc Jacobs. They are buttery, silky, smooth, blendable, pigment great shadow quality. In terms of a side-by-side -side pan shot for you guys, you can see this bottom here is one of the seven pan palettes and then the top palette is the new holiday one. The pans look to be about the exact same size. However, each of the shadow pans in this new holiday palette does contain a little bit less product than you would get in one of these. This palette contains seven grams of product between seven eyeshadows, whereas this palette contains 16 grams of product between 20 eyeshadows. So you're not getting a ton of product in each of these pans. You're getting less than a gram of actual shadow. Another thing I wanted to note about this palette which is a pretty big con, especially considering the price tag that you're paying for this, is that the pans are not glued into the palette very well. A lot of the pans are moving on me. For example, this little pan here is actually like, it's moving around. I don't know if you can tell, but I can actually lift it out of the palette. And a lot of the other pans, when I went to swipe my finger in them, they'll just kind of move around and swirl around, meaning the glue isn't actually holding the pans very well. That's definitely unfortunate, especially for the price you're paying for this palette. You would think they would use some good glue to glue those pans in there. I do really like the color variety in this palette, but I will say it's hard for me to achieve a full look using just this palette because I don't have a matte transition color. I don't have a dark matte color to use as a liner or to really smoke out a look. There are a lot of really nice metallic mid-tone colors that I would generally pull in with another matte palette. Another thing is that I would personally never take this palette traveling with me because it is pretty big and slightly bulky. It is kind of weighty, which is a good and bad thing, but the pans pop out. So I would never risk actually taking this product traveling. So do I think this palette is worth the $99 for a collector? Yes, absolutely. I will be keeping it in my collection, but is this a palette that I am head over heels in love with that I will be reaching for over any other palette in my collection? Definitely not. As a collector, I am happy to have this palette in my collection, but I don't necessarily think it is a must have. And if you miss out on it, you should regret it for the rest of your life. So that is pretty much everything. That wraps up my thoughts on the new Marc Jacobs 20 pan, the free spirit eyeshadow palette. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys haven't been keeping up to date on my holiday review extravaganza, I do have a playlist, which is the first link in the description box below. Below. And I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below what you think of this palette. Have you guys tried it yet? Are you interested in trying it? Is it on your wish list? Be sure to let me know and I will talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday. I'll see you then. Bye! I have all three of these in the full size form and the formula on these, the quality, the texture, little pop outs, the little Sephora bag, and the little chocolate bar palette, the staircase, and the eye.